A friend of mine has a record CL3 wood lathe. This is the headstock from that lathe disassembled. He has taken out the, the main bearing here and then he has loosened the pulley because what he wants to do is to put a three horse and no, a three phase motor on it. One horse should do. And he has bought a VFT to control it. And what he wants my help to do is to swap the uh, orientation of the pulley and to make a new mount to put this motor on. And just assemble some parts here. Of course the motor goes in here, there's a plate to mount it, here a bracket um, and then of course the other, the other pulley then should be this direction because if, if, if you swap that around it'll be the fattest side against the motor so that's the, that's where I come in. At least where he says he wants some help, namely to to make this fit on that axle. But the axle is 19 millimeters and the hole is 16 or so, and it's uh, rather long, as you see. So what he wants to do is to make an adapter that fits here and then mounts the pulley on there. He says that the motor is uh, in the, in the original uh, mount is, is a, about that, or the, the the pulley is mounted about 35 millimeters away from the from the, this um, additional bracket. So it is already like that. Anyway, should be an easy job just making up a pulley that. Uh, goes onto this adapter here that is cut out for 19 millimeters here and for 16 there. Just clock it up in the lathe and, and turn it. So the way to dismount the pulley, or the, actually the the spindle to to reverse the pulley, I think is to make a. A wooden adapter, a fork that goes on here, I mean there, and then drive. Of course there's a flange, you can't see that good. There's a flange, there's a step there, so that the axle has to go that direction, I mean in there. And then just uh, press it out. So I'm milling the slot in the spindle for my friend's wood lathe, or colleague's wood lathe. I like it to do it this way. I use a mirror to see what's happening and I just increase or feed the table upwards. And we do this because we have to reverse the pulley. We take it a little bit further. And I let the table be the other way. It's mild steel as you can see. Combi mill play.
Spindel er blå opp. Jeg har ikke satt den i senter enda, det er bare blå opp her på, for å se på innekoden. Og den ser ut for meg som er helt i orden. Den må sette seg fast, nå skal jeg bare prøve å ta den ut. Den har tatt rundt hele, altså. Den er ikke helt regn, den er ikke så vi kan sikkert puste den opp litt, men den satt bra inn der. This is what is done. So, I will get the slot there, because this had to be turned the opposite way now, because it was this way, and the whole too far as I okay turn it around this should be in here but first stop mode for the bearing and this here now the bearing should be on this side we should be pressed in and on this side we have to the motor we have a fastening plate a mounting plate and then I drilled, uh, first of all I pressed on this 16mm uh, axle here with the 19mm hole which should then go into the motor like that and then, <coughs> okay, it's tight then in here and so with the drive belt there bit on the tight side perhaps like that and the stop screw yeah underneath here because I didn't want to to mill or to put a keyway on the inside of this uh, it was a maximum of 28 millimeters to go through the hole here or the slot here I think this is too, too, would be too shallow to put a keyway there. And uh, then we suggested, or he suggested, just put the stop screw there, so I do. So I just tighten this there. 